Today we're going to use some Maker World magic to take an image and turn it into a 3D model. So let's get cracking. Let's start at Bamboo Lab Studio and we're going to simply switch to Maker Lab. If we scroll down to experiments, there is a image to 3D model. We're going to click try it. One cool thing I had not noticed, I've actually tried this and this is my first result. I did not know it saved automatically, so I am excited to see that. As you know, I'm a big Lions fan. Love this little Kool-Aid picture. So we're going to try and turn this Kool-Aid picture into a 3D model. This process took a minute and a half, but I'm going to use video editing to speed that up. And bingo, less than two minutes later, we have got a 3D model of the Kool-Aid Man. How cool is that? Now, as you can tell, there are flaws. The ice cubes are on the outside. But oh my gosh, what a fantastic tool. Now, as we peek at it, we've got two options. We can check out the textures and we can check out the mesh. And then finally, we can also choose to export it. And of course, this process took a moment. It was under a minute, but I'm going to speed it up too. Now there is a cost for this service. As you can see, I had 150 credits available. Right now it's only being charged two credits. Eventually it's gonna go up to 10 credits. Note we can use these for commercial purchases. If you share them publicly, please credit them. So of course I will put this link in the description of this video. Now I'm gonna simply download it. I'm gonna change the name to Kool-Aid Man OBJ and click save. Now I want to bring this into Tinkercad, but I cannot because the max is 25 meg and it's almost 39 meg. Check it out. We're going to solve this using Bamboo Studio. Simply hit create new project. I'm going to quickly add that file. Of course, I did store it in that temporary folder and I'm going to simply hit open. I am not printing this right now, so I'm just simply going to accept all the colors. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose simplify. Notice it currently has almost 500,000 triangles. For test number one, I'm going to just stay with medium. If you check out that wireframe, it still is quite complex, and I'm going to hit apply. Now I'm going to take the resulting file, and I'm going to export it as an STL. Still Kool-Aid Man, still Lions, and save. If we return to that file, Check it out, it is down to 564 kilobytes, so it is flat out possible to bring it in. So we're gonna go back and do this again quick. I'm gonna delete that one, I'm gonna add the other one again, Kool-Aid Man OBJ, let it map everything just like it was. This time, I'm gonna simplify model, and as I click the detail level, I can see how much it's gonna adjust. So this goes down to 74,000, at high, and right here I'm at 180,000. Well, I think the max for Tinkercad is somewhere around 200,000, so I'm gonna hit apply, and let's do file, export, as an STL again. This time I'm gonna call it Kool-Aid Man 2, and hit save. Once again, return to that folder and check it out from 38,000 as an OBJ down to 8,000, and now we can bring it into Tinkercad. How cool is that? I'm gonna simply choose import, choose that file, Kool-Aid Man 2, keep the millimeters, this is about as big as I ever print these type of projects anyhow, and choose import. Once again, the import process took a little more than a minute, but of course, skipping that via video editing. And bang, there is our Kool-Aid Man model. How cool is that? Now, I have no need to print this. I was just doing a proof of concept, so I'm going to stop right here. I will let you know that if I were trying to modify this, I would probably use Mesh Mixer. It has nifty techniques for selecting parts and just deleting them and then refilling them. That is probably the most efficient way to do that. Tinkercad only has brute force techniques for modifying an STL. I would use those brute force techniques to simply trim the bottom of these feet so that it would be easier to print. Of course, you would need support to make these arms work, but you would do that in your slicer. 
Do make sure you keep an eye out for the cards of this video. I'll make sure I add all my Mesh Mixer videos and Bruce Force Tinkercad STL videos there. All right, so let's do a quick recap. First, we learned how to take an image using Maker World and turn it into a 3D model. Of course, we exported that as an OBJ and then we brought it in to Bamboo Studio so we could reduce the file size and bring it into Tinkercad. How cool is that? Friends, I do want to quickly say thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. You can check the bit.ly above or the link in the description to learn more. Finally, friends, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.